Hello, today I'm going to be talking about Pro6 new Profometer PM630 cover meter and comparing its features to the Profoscope cover meter also by Pro6. The PM630 uses the new touchscreen interface which Pro6 is going to standardize amongst much of their equipment. The newly designed Universal Probe includes a wheeled cart which allows for complete data logging functionality for the Profimeter PM, including location of bars, the cover, and a diameter estimate. There are interface buttons on the probe, and the cart uses a magnetic encoder, meaning there's less to clean or be damaged during operation. The system also comes with all required cables, and a harness to make the system easy to operate on site. Accessories include additional batteries and an extendable pole to make testing on ground much more easy. Systems are supplied from PCTE with a calibration certificate. To start with, I'd like to show the difference in using the Profimeter and the Profoscope to locate a reinforcing bar. We, as with all cover meters, they need to be held in open space to set them to a zero steel measurement. And then the Profimeter needs to be rolled towards the reinforcing bar. When we pass the bar, the system will let us know where the bar is, and it can be backed up to align correctly with the bar. This is indicated both on the indicator screen and the LEDs on the device. So as we come close to a bar and pass it, we have the indication on the screen and the probe to locate the bar. A unique feature of the Profimoto PM is that it can locate slanted bars. So I've crossed over the bar at a slight angle here, and the screen shows that the bar is not parallel to the probe's passage. The key difference between the Profimeter and the Profoscope is that the Profoscope is able to locate a bar rough position before passing over it. So I'll turn the Profoscope on now and again zero it. And what we're going to see in operation is that the guide of the bar's location, the rifle scope, moves towards us as we push the Profoscope towards the bar. This is the midpoint, it's moving with us and now coming close to the bar on the other side the rifle scope moves towards us and will lock on with the red light indicating light as well when we're directly over the bar. The second big difference between the Profoscope and the Profimeter is in data logging operation. I'm going to begin by turning on the automatic data logging on the Profoscope. This setting will log the cover depth whenever the system passes over a bar. With the blinking light on the screen, we are ready to log, and I'm just going to pass the cover meter over the reinforcing bars a number of times. As we can see, the number increments each time pass. So we've passed two bars, and we're on record number 17. So I'll continue taking a few more measurements, and the number increments again. The system has now only recorded these cover depths, and when I move to the profimeter, we're going to be able to map out the reinforcing location. The system's going to record their spatial position both along the passage of the cover meter and the cover depth. So I'll set it to single line mode to begin. And now we can see the graphical indication of the cover as a yellow line 
with the red bars shown whenever we cross over. The reason these bars are showing red is I've entered a minimum cover depth into the system and it'll mark any bar red that is higher than that. So this had a 50 millimeter mill cover depth and the bars are closer to us than that. I'm now going to switch to multi-line mode and this is very useful if you want to evaluate the overall position of a reinforcing cage. So as we can see we record the bar with a color tone indicating the cover depth again red because we're above the minimum cover entrance and then we can pass along the same area and see the orientation of the bars over the greater space. So this could be used to find if say the bars at the bottom of a wall were closer in cover than the bars at the top of the wall. The Profimeter PM also allows you to review the collected data once we've finished working. So I'm going to be able to view the individual lines from both of those scans I just took. The final measurement that the Profimeter offers is a area scan. This is in preparation for a feature that will shortly be added to the Profimeter which allows it to take half cell potential measurements in addition to cover measurements at the same time. So this is mapping out as a area regions where there's low cover rather than mapping out the individual bars locations. The future intent being that this could be mapped to the half cell potential values at the same time. And again all of this data can be reviewed live on the Profimeter PM screen. For the Profiscope, we'll need to move to the software, which I'll do now. After connecting the Profiscope cover meter and downloading the data, we're presented with a familiar interface, which is shared between the majority of the ProSec systems. So we can see from a scan I took of my office floor the cover depths as, each t as we pass over the bars each time. We're able to add a comment and we can change our units between metric and imperial. Finally we're also able to display the bar diameters in increasing height. This data can be exported to a comma separated value file for manipulation in Excel. But I must stress that what is recorded by the Profiscope is only the bar's cover depth. There is no location information. It's also possible, as we can see on our sample data here, to collect uh, diameter estimates at the same time, though I didn't do this for my demonstration. If you want to conduct statistical analysis on this data, it will need to be done manually. Finally, with this and the Profimeter software, it's impossible to save the raw data separate to the device, upgrade and delete the data from the Profiscope. Now going to move to the Profimeter software after I save my Profiscope backup. So the Profimeter software, again the same familiar interface, and I'll open up a file I've already downloaded from my cover meter. And here is the same office floor, now graphically represented, including the location of the bars. As we can see, in addition to adding comments and adjusting the units, we're able to adjust the assumed diameter of the bars, and also to show a statistical view of the cover measurements. And here is the same office floor viewed with a multi-line scan. So we can see we've got a lot more information showing every bar measurement taken over the region. We can adjust our rebar diameter, assume by the system which adjusts our cover measurements. It was, so for a 16mm bar, 
we can see that the cover is relatively good towards the top of the slab, but to the bottom of the slab we have low cover, which is showing up again with that red low cover alarm I have set into the device. And we can also review all the individual lines and also a bar chart of the different measured diameters, which can get an idea of the distribution of the bars in the slab that was scanned.